Milk Crate Mar Fuck Milk Crate Marauder. I approve this message. Sterling John, our reporter, is here. And I'm very anxious to hear what he said to McCarty. So how many reporters were in the room? Uh, I don't know, 50 to, about 50 to 100, I'd say. Okay. Where was this? At the garden, Madison Square Garden. Okay. Here we go. We gave you a whole bunch of goofy questions, but then we narrowed it down to five. We didn't think you'd even get one off. Yeah, I got three off. What do you do? You just yell stuff out? Yeah, I just stand up and yell. Yeah? Yeah, and I got a loud voice, so I'm able to overcome some of the other ones. Yeah. There you go. Got to have a loud voice with these things. I'm sure after a while people start running out of lame questions they ask. Yeah. Because most of them are lame questions. Paul, uh, will you be doing another tour? You know, it's a, yeah, yeah. you know. Some guy goes and stands up from a classical station. Paul, uh, I'm from a classical station, and can you tell me if you were influenced by classical music? <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you know. Uh, just reeking, shut up. really. Yeah, and the same guy goes, and, and uh, also on my weddings, July 7th, would you like to play for me for my wedding? Who said that? The guy? Yeah, same guy. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Magic Matthew Allen from WHTC. <laughs> Paul, they love you. They love you out there. <laughs> Can you give me a personal message to take back to all my fans? Do you want to say something to them? Do you want to say a personal message to all your fans? And they love you. <laughs> I want to thank you for all the good years of music, Paul. Thank you. <laughs> you are the Beatles. Ringo's a chump. And there was a couple of Japanese reporters asking him, you know, yeah. what he does in Japan for, for, for fun. Besides for the jail for fun? time? <laughs> yeah, for, aside from the jail time for the marijuana charges. <laughs> besides, besides going to jail in Japan, what do you like to do? <laughs> Interesting question. All right, let's hear what you have. Okay. Hi, Paul. Uh, uh, Stutter and John from the Howard Stern Show. Speaking of partying, uh, what's the most girls that you ever had in bed at once? <laughs> now, realize what's happening. The reason for the difference in quality is... Um, John had to be mic'd separately because you couldn't mic off the main feed. Okay. It sounds kind. It sounds yeah. kind of weird listening to it. Yeah. It sounds like it's, uh, yeah, but it's edited. Not, yeah, but it's not. It's not. All I right. promise you. Uh, let me think now. Difficult question. <laughs> I think I'm going to tell you that on live television with my wife in the building. <laughs> think again, buddy. <laughs> Good chance. So we met. Ooh. Yeah. All right. And, and, and like answer that question, he kept. Should have done a follow up. Paul, I insist. I was gonna say since he said his wife, I was gonna ask the question: Is your wife Jewish? But I don't know, man. I didn't feel too too, too good about that. But that one. That was one of the questions we wrote down for him. Yeah. What's wrong with that question? Is she Jewish, David? Linda Eastman. Eastman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody wrote, uh, sent me a fax yesterday that said uh, her family changed their real name from Epstein, from Epstein really? to Eastman. Yeah, for business purposes. Yeah, like no one would do business with them. <laughs> around quite a bit with those things. Uh, the nearest to it now. Uh, what is this? Let me explain this. This is when he's just answering other people's questions and he, and he, and he makes reference to me. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm still not telling you how many women in the bed. Um, so now uh, it's called. Hi, Paul Stern and John from the Howard Stern Show. Do you. Uh, <laughs> oh, quiet down. Do you ever get a. Uh, <laughs> Who said quiet down? Me. Uh, you, you got Who were you saying it to? To everyone laughing. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> and the only reason I said it was because the next question was nasty and I knew I wasn't going to be able to spit it out, so I needed some time to get it up. <laughs> Well, so turn around and tell everyone to quiet yeah, yeah, please, please, please. <laughs> yeah, everybody needs to hear this. Come on, quiet down. Do you ever get uh, nasty letters from Pete Best? No, I haven't actually had one, no. I might after this. Would you ever be a traveling Wilbury? Would I ever be a traveling Wilbury? No, will you? I hope so. I think you do. See you, folks. Thank you. Take care. You got the last question? You got the last question? He came and standing up like, oh, would you ever be a traveling Wilbury? <laughs> He's like the Sam Donaldson yeah, of the right. Fox uh, News Conference. Oh. Ah. So he won't be a traveling Wilbury. He won't answer how many women he slept with at once. I see. I wanted the answer to that just to play it from Meg. Yeah, so, right. But she, obviously, he wasn't denying that he's ever. He obviously yeah. had more than one. When she's sitting there idolizing the Beatles and putting down Sam Kinison for sleeping with more than one woman at a time, I think that uh, it would be a good thing just to play that in her face every once in a while. Because <laughs> if you don't think those guys have done that, use women. Please. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. What? I was going to say, I'm sure they did a lot of trains, you know. What? A lot of trains? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
In other words, like Ringo, John, Paul, and George all doing women do together think? in a train fashion. <laughs> Who do you think was first? <laughs> I mean, just because they're in a band, they have to do it. Is it your band does? Get a girl and form a train. <laughs> Well, how many girls do you think John's band can get, Howard? Yeah, they're no Beatles. <laughs> they got to do it. Yeah, I guess I guess if they get one girl, they got to share her. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, on that train in your band, are you the caboose? <laughs> hey, who do you think was the caboose in that band? That's Ringo? Ringo had yeah. it, don't you think? Oh, get them forth. <laughs> or he and George were fighting for it. This is some lousy chain I'm on. <laughs> you be the caboose this time, George. Yeah, and someone hit George over the head with a sitar. <laughs> he definitely wasn't going after Ravi, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> I get ahead of him. Oh, damn it. He's an Indian. I'm going next. Um, I'm not going after some damn doll head. <laughs> All right, listen. Uh, good job. Good job, despite all the adversity you uh, came through. I'm very proud of you. Thanks, man. That's why you're stuttering, John. And you can be proud to be from the Howard Stern Show. Who is this? Oh, son of a bitty, bitty, uh, son of a bitty, bitty, son of a bitty, 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 uh, gun. <laughs> you thought I was going to say, uh, son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs> all right, here we go. Who are you with, Dr. Spock? Dr. Spock. Now, this is the guy, Robin, not the guy with the Vulcan ears. All right. And we were going to ask him see, the question. I would have been excited about What are you going to see, Dr. Spock? I know. Well, we were going to ask him, like, hey, you know, I, I forget. What was the question again? For uh, I, I, I asked it because I said it wouldn't be any good because everybody asks him that. Hey, hey uh, can you give me the Vulcan mind meld? Can you, you right, know, all right. right. Do all those Mr. Spock questions. That was too obvious. Yeah. We came up with a better first question because you never know how many questions you're going to get off with Stuttering mm -hmm. John. Mm -hmm. Usually the celebrities will last for one question. <laughs> so you try to make that your best one. We've tried to ease into it, but that's boring. You know what I mean? Yeah, the old days I used to ease into it like, like four normal questions before we went to Yeah, but screw it. No one wants to hear that anyway. <laughs> now, Dr. Spock is an old man. Really old man. Because he was old when he was protesting the Vietnam War. Remember that, Robin? Oh, yeah. Howard, it was very Dr. Spock must be the wealthiest man on the planet. Every couple of years they update his baby book. It's a book about... He doesn't even have to write a new one. No, they just update, update it, like I did with the paperback. And they... I don't even know that he updates it. I don't know. Somebody updates yeah. it. He tells the women to breastfeed. You know, all the typical stuff. Well, he's uh, supposedly responsible for our generation. I think he's a big failure, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> so, uh, they keep listening to him. Yeah. One thing about my mother, she never listened to Dr. Spock. <laughs> That's why I turned into a mental patient. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's really funny, though. Here's a man who has outlived the first babies he helped. <laughs> yeah, he's in a second group. Yeah. I know people who were actually raised on the Dr. Spock books, and they've died. And Dr. Spock is still alive. That's right. And they raised a second generation of yes. children on his books that, as well. That is correct, Robin. That is correct. Because everybody goes out, they have to get that book. My wife read his book. I know that she did some reading before the kids were born. Did it help? I don't think so. I think uh, there were other books. I don't know. Who knows? But he, it was all right. So here's the point. Yeah. You go up to him and you ask him some questions. Yeah, there's no, there's no people there. There's just like so much press. I couldn't believe it. Like so many camera crews. But nobody there to talk to him. But no, no people to get, you know, in, get an order. No fans, no. But uh, so he's he's sitting there with his wife, who's I guess I'm I'm assuming it's his wife, but it's a real old lady. Yeah. And he's sitting down, just giving like just rambling about stuff. Like it doesn't even seem like anyone's asking him anything. All right. Well, let's hmm. see what happens. So I ask the first question. <laughs> We're going to begin our book signing in about five minutes, so you have another five minutes if there's anyone here. Book signing? There's nobody there. That's right. They're going to go out and find somebody yeah. <laughs> to get their book signed. Hi, a question. WXRK Radio, tape for broadcast. What makes kids homo? That's a complicated. Oh, oh, oh. Um, it's con first of all, it's con. It's con okay. Turn it on. In the first place, it's con what's going on? He's they trying to answer. They said, "What makes kids homo?" Yeah, but they wouldn't let me hold the mic because the, all the photographers were getting angry. So, the, so the wife has to grab the microphone and, and hold it up to his mouth, and then I'm telling her how to hold it close, and she wasn't holding it close enough. But then the he, and he keeps starting this. Over yeah, right. Okay. And what and what, he's going back and forth. And I like he, he doesn't even flinch when no, he, what makes kids home. No, he hasn't flinched at all. Yeah. He thinks I'm a serious reporter. That's an excellent question. Yeah, and he's not bothered by the language at all. Yeah, I like him, this Dr. Spock. <laughs> <laughs> what makes kids he homo? He doesn't let that stop. Because I said, you know, 
obviously, when we sat and um, talked about these questions yesterday, I said that uh, you know, you know, John's just going to get booted right out. But who knew Dr. Spock would? Spock's ready to talk. <laughs> and after he said that, you hear this noise. It sounds like the Yank we used yeah, to drop. It sounds like they're trying to throw you out. No, right. the, the wife is yanking the mic for me so she can hold it up to his mouth. I've got to hear that again. It sounds like he's showing you what makes the kids hold <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's taking that mic and putting it Here's in, a, the... in a bad place. Here's what goes on with that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Mike goes here. <laughs> Here's how it's done. <laughs> All right. There we go. Question? WXRK Radio, tape for broadcast. What makes kids homo? Kids? That's a complicated. Kiss me, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's con first of all, it's con. It's con <laughs> See, that's how they drag. That's how they make it seem important because they drag out the press conference, I'm waiting for somebody to come sign some books. In the first place, it's controversial. There are some people in respectable psychiatrists who think that it's partly inborn, and uh, there are other what psychiatrists who, who believe, as I do, that it's primarily uh, mix up in the child's identity. I agree. Uh, the, What's going in his throat, Rob? I don't know. <laughs> Better he write books. <laughs> you just want to go. Go like this. <clears throat> you want to hit him in the chest. Yeah. Knock that out. Spit, sir. <laughs> yeah, just get it out. Sounds like Jackie. He chuckles. Jimmy's coming out. Let me start at a slightly different place. Uh, the, the, uh, there is a disharmony between father and mother. Right. And uh, the, the father is not as close to his son. Yes. Uh, <laughs> as I would wish he would be, and therefore... I think there's a motorboat caught in his throat. <laughs> <laughs> A lawnmower. It'll make this froggy for little rascals. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it sounds like when you got one of those lawnmowers where you're trying to get it started? <laughs> what makes kids homo? By his deprived of that identification of his father, which gets him located in Duke. By the way, Dr. Spock is 100% correct, and I know this irks some people. I don't, I don't know even why. I know what he's saying. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I disagree. Homosexuality. Shut up. Almost like you disagree. <laughs> yeah, you don't have a thought in your head. Same because a father don't hang with a kid. No, 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 no. It's much more complicated. A lot complicated. of people don't hang. Fathers hanging with them. It's a much. It's also how the kid accepts this information. You can have this. You can have a family of four boys. Are you understand? One of them becomes gay. The other three are heterosexual. Yeah. Now, once again, I will ask you, well, how does it happen in the animal community? It doesn't. It does. When have you seen it? Oh, You've never seen it for yourself. I haven't seen uh, regular animals having heterosexual sex. Exactly. Don't what always do you mean exactly? don't always buy <laughs> what you hear. You only heard exactly. in the animal kingdom it exists. Sixty percent. Yeah, sixty percent of, of birds, birds are gay. Okay. I've heard that too. <laughs> and yet there's a million birds running around. Who the hell? They're all gay. You found that out. I yeah, yeah. How did you research that? Show me the research. They put two of them together and they went crazy. You read that because gay magazines print sixty percent oh, of the yeah. birds are gay. What are these gay the magazines? Like uh, like Blue Boy. <laughs> <laughs> So, That's where I get my do my scientific research. Anyway, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. And I don't know why this upsets gay people. It is a psychological situation. Just like obsessive compulsive behavior is psychological, has nothing to do with the brain or the brain stem. Hey, you can't cure that either. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. I can cure it. Obsessive compulsive can be chemical, though. It is not chemical. 
Did you hear what I said, yes, you jackass? Not, but, Shut up. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just saying. That I don't know. I tune into other shows. They're not arguing with you. No, it's only the commentator and phone call. <laughs> I don't have a room full of lackeys sitting I'm around saying, here. But, Get out of here. No, I'm just saying, but you're not entirely correct. Hey, shut up. All you right. don't even know what you're talking Something. about. I've lived a lot longer than you, you wacko. Yeah, but I took psychology in school. And yeah, I took psychology in school, and they're teaching you the wrong thing. Now you're learning from the master. I, hey. I've gone a lot further than any stupid psychology teacher you ever had at that crummy college you went to, C.W. Post, the worst college in the country. <sighs> NYU. Yeah, whatever. Morons go there. <laughs> Dr. Stupid must have taught you. Yeah, was that at the community college? Yeah, that's stupid like ass. I tried to teach you something, and I got an argument from a guy who really shouldn't even be in this you room. You should be listening to everyone. You shouldn't open your mouth. Yeah, just absorb. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like a sponge. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this because of what's happened in my life. You understand? He used to be gay. Right. <laughs> now listen to me. I am telling you, I know this a hundred percent to be true. I'll go to my grave saying no, it. No, what I, I meant when I said it can't be cured is because yes, it can. No, wait a minute. Listen to me. Sure, everything can be cured. Thank you. If the person will cooperate with you. Exactly. Most people won't cooperate. I know. That's the problem. I've been trying to get gays into a counseling group. All right, let's continue with Dr. Spock. Let's, let's just listen to him. Forget, forget about gay. I tried to hurt him. Yeah. Quickly, in, uh, as a male. Uh, Who knew he'd answer this? Yeah, for so long. Something applies to girls. They should be comfortable with their mother. Uh, girls... Uh, comfortable with their mother. Uh, oh boy! Yeah. Uh, mm. <laughs> He's like a broken record. He was, stuck. He was just imagining the thing in his mind. Comfortable with their mother. Comfortable with their mother. But also, oh, they get along reasonably well with their father. Oh boy! To, to bring up children easily in the right groove. We knew we, I was hope I'd rather see you get thrown out. Yeah, oh, don't worry, it'll happen. All right. <laughs> easily in the right groove. Where's well, he going now? Got this. Good to have a good a father who enjoys being a father, and a mother who enjoys being a, a mother. Hmm. What do you think? OJ's mom. I just have a serious question here. All right. <laughs> what is this? Yes. Yeah, what do you? Th why, well, how do you think OJ's uh, mom went wrong? Yeah, I get to it. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. All right. Why is that not serious? Uh, because they start to recognize. What's... You see who interrupts? We had this guy going. Yeah. It's the bookstore guy now. Yeah. The bookstore guy is now going to edit. Well, he knows a serious. Well, let's hear a serious question. He what was the serious question they asked? It's mine again. I just, I just. Yeah, there's no question. Hey, there is no serious question. Those reporters don't have a thing to say. I've been to those press conferences. Anything you're going to ask Dr. Spock has been asked 25 years ago. Oh, that's, that's a good question. No, it's, um, it's too popular. <laughs> that's what I've heard. That that's, that those uh, special sections of newspapers that... Uh, that uh, devoted to the to uh, O.J. Simpson. Uh, when we're I don't know what I don't know what went wrong. Hey. <laughs> don't blame that on my book. <laughs> what happens when you get old? Like you, you sound like you're completely out of touch with pop culture. Yeah, you know, he doesn't like, you read know, a paper like, or listen to the I TV. I understand. There is um, that people are very interested in this case. Very popular. It's uh, yeah. What happens when you get old? Sections of newspapers. Yeah, like they don't understand. <laughs> they're, they're overwhelmed by everything. It's like you know. I understand. Like in other words, how could, that seems unbelievable to him. When we're going to begin the signing, we're going to take people around and hear what you're doing. Which is better punishment for children, spanking or enemas? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> okay, thanks you're very much. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> about the spank, John? <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Dr. Spock. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Spock. <laughs> Neither. He got pissed. He got pissed. He just went... Neither. <laughs> he just jumped up. <laughs> I roared. <laughs> Which is a better punishment for children spankings or enemas? What's your? I uh, something I want to know. Yeah, suppose he was raising his child. <laughs> I've been giving the kids enemas for years. I'm I'm thinking of switching to spanking. What is hell for? Mm, you've been bad. Now's your enema. I heard that was bad, so I'm going to spanking. Yeah. You hit a button.
<laughs> we had some other good questions. Where are they? Do you have them? No, I, I, I gave them to somebody over there. I gave them to somebody. I didn't know it was coming good. in. I was delivering breakfast. Uh, good. Uh, That's uh, good. I only asked the questions. Good job. No, actually, one of them was, what, what, what point do you, do you tell your parents to go to F and hell? Yeah. Eat their right, you were just... Oh, thank you. Oh, see that right? No, I was eating my sandwich. Uh, see see right. On them. <laughs> Would you ever let Michael Jackson babysit your grandchildren? <laughs> What do you think of boys having sword fights in the shower? <laughs> Stuff like that. Anyway, uh, thanks, Sutter and John. That was good. Hello, you who? Who is this? Sure, sure, retarded blue. Uh-huh. I'm retarded, you jerk. <laughs> you stupid bastard. Why don't I just do uh, Stuttering John and Lou Reed? John, come in here and tell us about Lou Reed. Oh, well, there you are. For some reason, of the stupid. I can't get this thing to re this tape you gave me. So what happened? Where did you see Lou Reed? Uh, in the back, uh, you know, at the concert, they had like this, like, <laughs> hard rock set up. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, I... I, I <laughs> he's such a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a jerk. No, I, 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 kept, I kept going back there... It, and um, you know, looking for different celebrities. So what finally, kind of set setup did they have? They had like a hard setup, bro. What, doing, what kind of setup did they have, really? <laughs> they had a hard rock, you know. A hard rock. Yeah, a hard I don't rock even cafe. know what he's talking about. A hard about. rock cafe they had. I don't even know what you're talking about. You were where? What concert did you go to? I was to? at the Bob Dylan concert. All right, you went to the Bob Dylan concert yeah. and you got backstage. Yeah, I was backstage. All right, you were one of the reporters backstage. Yeah. And you went up to Lou Reed. Yeah, well, they had like an MTV was doing like a, had like a like interview segment, right? Yeah. And, and, and so I kept going back to see they had. Was Lou Reed part of the show? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Lou Reed came out and played something. But, and it was horrible, right? Yeah, I yeah, mean, I'm sure it was. So, uh, <laughs> so I went over to him, and I, Lou Reed's been horrible for years. Ever since the song "Heroin," he's gone way downhill. <laughs> what, what? What is it? Quickly. So, so I went over to him. Quickly. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Everyone's a jerk. So, so I went over to him, and I asked him. I didn't want to ask him about you because last time I did that, he gave me a quick answer, and that was it. You know? All right. Let's see what he said. So you said, Lou. Can I ask you a question for 923K Rock. Oh yeah. Uh, are you still masturbate? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Pushes me. What do you do? He pushed you? So what he does is he looks at me, looks through the, the other way, then looks at me and grabs my neck. <laughs> this, is a guy, me. this is a guy who used to dress like a woman on his album covers. <laughs> I mean, you know, who's he kidding? I, I couldn't believe it. I was in shock because I knew, you know, I, I, he would have punched me if I wasn't wearing those goopy, phony glasses. You know what I mean? So you were so, in your disguise. Yeah. So like, the, you know, the next bet is. So choking. was he choking you at this point? Yeah, yeah. The whole that. I asked him the question, I, and then he, he, about three seconds later, he, he <laughs> his hands are around my neck. You can sue him. Look at what happened to you. <laughs> Unbelievable. So Unbelievable, you just insulted him. He just pushed me, grabbed my neck. Unbelievable. What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And then I got thrown out. You know. and what, who was that woman? What, she, what do you mean you just insulted him? Why? Because you asked him if he still masturbated? So he could say no. Yeah, I know. It's, and, the, and, the, and, the, and, and then the girl from MTV was all, all pissed at me and stuff. And, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, how girl? Can you who was there because from MTV? He, after that, he stormed Hello? out of there. Can I ask you a question for 923K Rock? Oh, yeah. Uh, are oh, you still masturbate? <laughs> what do you mean he choked you? me. Unbelievable. What do you mean he choked you? He just pushed me. Grabbed my neck. Unbelievable. What a dick. What a dick. <laughs> he grabbed my neck, man. He went, just, like, he just took his hand, like, like, like you know. All right. You know, and just, With one hand. Okay. Yeah. Like this. But it was really weird. No, but it wasn't. It wasn't quick. It was not quick. It was there for a couple seconds. I was looking up, going. What are you letting him keep his hand on your neck for? What was he gonna do? You Push know? it away. What are you, what are you gonna do? You gonna let a guy choke it? Nah, what? Because he's Lou Reed? No, nah, I thought it was just. I, thought it was just, I, was just, I was just kind of shocked. Hmm. You know. Hmm. There you go. That's, uh, that's not very. Uh, that's not very ladylike. <laughs> but uh. All right. Very good. Thank you. Oh, who is this? I'm gonna fuck you like a wild lamb when I want this. Oh my. Stuttering John is here because he's all over the newspaper, and I thought I'd tell you guys about this and also show you the tape. Yeah, this is my problem. Because there's a lot of uh, misinformation. What? This is my problem. Our video here? Yeah. The, the, uh, it isn't bleeped, uh, the video. Well, then why don't you give me the, the audio tape, but we can at least show the tape yeah. in here. So okay. we, you understand, guys? Yeah. Where is the audio tape? Is this it? Audio's up. It's yeah. queued up? Yep. All right. Okay, there you go. No problem, Robin. All under control. All right. Yeah. Hero of the stupid. Hey, Dougala.
Yes, sir. Make sure you just uh, do that without the sound. Okay. Thank you, Dougie. That's Dougie. Do you think he'll be able to match it up, or are we not going to bother with that? Please. <laughs> be like a Japanese film. Exactly. <laughs> you, don't, you don't even need to match it up. Trust me, I've seen this already. All right, so I open up the newspaper, and obviously th there's something in New York. I don't know when this started happening, a couple of years ago, something called the Red Ball. I never heard of it in my yeah, life. I hadn't, and I got an invitation to this this year, and I was yeah. like, Red Ball? What the hell is that? But evidently a lot of celebrities go. It's a yeah, charity it event. It would be a big thing. Stuttering John went over there and uh, tried to interview a few people, and out of the blue, this guy comes out and smacks John in the face. It sounds like somebody must have run to get him, to tell him what John was doing. It's the guy who runs it, and he's a millionaire and stuff. And um, Let me read you the article. Stern sidekick in Ball Brawl. Producer and philanthropist Marty Richards is still steaming from his Plaza Hotel encounter. Now, by the way, I don't believe that this guy's steaming or, or anything. I think they're using this to get publicity. Mm -hmm. We didn't uh, sit and provide pictures and all this stuff. I have a feeling that these guys released this story to yeah, the press. Yeah, we didn't talk to anybody, did we? Yeah, no, of course not. And it's very bizarre that all of a sudden it's in every newspaper. They've you know been what I mean? calling around. Of course. Anyway, um... He's still steaming from his encounter with radio's loose cannon stuttering John Melendez. Quote, if I'd known he was from the Howard Stern show, I'd have hit him again. The normally mild-mannered Richard says. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you the tape, and you'll be able to see it on E. When this guy hits John, it looks like a girl. <laughs> the guy did an open hand little slap to John's face. Uh -huh. Although I'm not, I'm not uh, saying it was right, or I'm not even belittling it, because John was in a lot of pain. Hmm. I mean, the guy smacked him. He didn't punch him and stuff like that. He smacked him. Quote, it was a sin what Stuttering John tried to do to ruin a lovely evening. Now, look, I don't care what you do. You want to have someone evicted. John has been evicted for many events. You Just can't. Him out. You don't smack people like a two-year-old. You say, look, I'd like you to leave. Yeah, there's a certain civility that one must maintain when, uh, you know, being a guy in this guy's position. You can uh, take a member of the press and have them evicted. You cannot smack people. This is not Nazi Germany. <laughs> the kid might be a schmuck, but every time there's a reporter out there who asks a dopey question, you can't go up and smack him. So... The guy says he was asking racial questions, homosexual questions, terrible things, says Richards. So I asked him to leave. Did, did he ask he you to leave? Answer, did he ask? No. That, when you see the tape, he, he hadn't appeared to the last this moment. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this, is, this is a guy. I and mean, to tell you the truth, John's a pretty damn good fist fighter. If John wanted to, he could have bitch slapped and smacked this jackass right into the ground. But not only that. He's lying, but you know he's putting a spin on what happened mm. to, in the event. Apparently, because he claims there was all this conversation between him and him. Yeah, well, yeah, well, listen to this whole thing. He puts quite a spin on it because we have a tape of it. I don't think he realizes that. Um, I went up to John. He he, he claims that John sneered at him and said, "Who are you, old man?" After he had said something to John. Right. I said I was the old man who organized the affair, and I wanted him out of there. Instead, he called for his TV camera, and it struck me on the head. Now, we have tape. There's no camera striking him on the head. <laughs> That's when I hit him in the mouth. He's trying to protect himself from a lawsuit. Right. That's when I hit him on the mouth. I hear he's talking about suing me. Let him. I may sue him first for striking me with his camera. <laughs> Number one, John doesn't hold the camera. Number two, you'll, you'll, any camera you will see here, there's nobody, there's nobody even close to hitting this guy with a camera. There's two things wrong. First of all, I didn't call him to an old man until after he hit me. Right. And the camera never hit him until he punched the camera. Right. He hit me, then he punched the camera. Right. Then, uh, then, uh, and then when the scuffle happened, he bumped into the camera. <laughs> Goldie Hawn, one of the guests of honor, observed it all with mouth agape. She asked someone if there was a full moon that night. Did she actually sit in there and watch? No, she wasn't there. I know what they're talking about. Chevy Chase evidently had himself a little nervous breakdown on stage. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, here's this guy. Marty. Whoever Richard. Marty Richards is. I don't even never heard of him. Another guy who wants to be famous. Well, Stuttering John is helping him. You know what I hear, Howard? He's the heir to the Johnson & Johnson uh, fortune. Yeah, here's a picture of him with a girl way too good looking for him. Is that his wife? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. look at that. <laughs> you know, like, hey, Marty, Ooh. take a look in the mirror. 
the heir to the Johnson. In other, in other words, another guy who can't, you know. His, his, his mirror must be covered with dollar bill. His yeah. wife, you know, is, you know, you know, you know, he married into it. I think. Oh, is that right? This is what I hear. Oh. Oh well, then he's a he's a man who's very successful. Oh, he's a smart man. Smart man. <laughs> can't blame him for that. So anyway, you tell me what happened. You see, you tell me if Marty, old Marty, got into a fight because a camera hit him in the head. All right. All right, I'm going to play tape. Is, are we ready to do this? Yeah, Harold, what, what starts out first is sort of a progression. Yeah. First, John interviews this woman. Her name is Carmen. I guess she's like a socialite. Yeah. Carmen is a model. Oh. When? Uh, she's still, years she's ago. like one of those old lady models. Yeah, because she's like she's got to be in her sixties or so. So John starts talking to her, and some guy comes over, not Martin Richards, but some other guy, and starts to get upset. Okay. Oh, oh, oh it's okay, Carmen. Let me ask you this: We actually okay, radio. Does it bother you that Kathy Lee Giffen made an anti-Semitic uh, re remark? And by the way. I've seen Entertainment Tonight ask that question of many people mm -hmm. right. when they did the story on it. That is not a bad question. She, you know, she was an old lady. I asked something nice. Yeah. You know, it wasn't, I thought it was a nice, calm question. It is. There's nothing offensive about no. that. Marty. I can't, I can't even hear what you're saying. There's so much noise. That's not a question to ask her. Oh, no, I'm just, you know, oh, well, okay, I'm sorry. Now, that, that wasn't Marty saying yeah, who, that. Who was that? It's just another guy. He just said that's not a proper question to ask her, so John didn't ask her. Yeah, and that was it. That was it. So now, now this guy's upset, whoever this guy is. Yeah, whoever this guy is. This is not Marty. Yeah, Marty there. comes out of nowhere and just smacks John. So that guy now goes to the publicists, yeah. tells them to throw me out because I'm asking everyone bad questions. All right. So now here, John interviewed. John had interviewed Rex Reed earlier. Yeah. He gets Rex again, All right. and the same guy comes back. Now he's a little bit more upset. Okay. Rex? Rex. Oh, no, he already did. I'm, oh, I'm fine, Rex. Her whole career is ruined. Rex, Rex okay. whose career is ruined? Rex is saying that his career is ruined since he talked to me. I think Myra Breckenridge ruined his career. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. How, Howard's moving. I think he's going to do it. You're a you know that? I didn't say anything. That's not Rex See, calling me a jerk. It's just this guy. guy. See, that's yeah. the guy. See, don't remember hey, now, that. Now you, I haven't called him anything. I haven't done anything. First of all, Rex liked you. Yes. You did the interview with him yesterday. And uh, you know, we played that yesterday. Uh -huh. And uh, you didn't ask him an offensive question. You asked him, how do you think Howard Stern's movie will do? See, what, I, what, what, what is the problem? I was, I was talking to you about yesterday. I haven't said a word to this guy yet. Now yeah. he's calling me names. Now right. He's calling me a jerk. Right. That's why, you know, you know I'm, I'm, I'm a guy. You know, at this point, I'm, you know, I'm like, you know, he starts calling me names now. All right, okay. Oh, calm down. I'm, I'm, well, because, I'm, you know. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. I just wanted to say, okay, 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 okay man. I got to react to jerk. I, I got him. No, he called me a bunch of things. You bleeped. He bleeped some stuff there. Where right after you. I just said, Kathy Lee made an anti Go away. Oh, what's the matter, sir? Because you're a jerk. That's why, Carmen. Do you have cramps, sir? Maybe. Maybe? Another remark like that, and you'll be oh. thrown out. Oh, Jesus. Cheer up, sir. I mean, he can call you a jerk and a jackass, but you can't ask him if he has cramps. Because he was so mad at me, and I hadn't done anything to him. Dude, no problem. Uh, this guy, Marty, you ought to sue the pants off him. So, all right, so let me just say something, Howard. Roll over here, guys. So get, get yourself a little of that Johnson & Johnson money. Yeah. So, so, so Marty hasn't been there yet. He, 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 I haven't even seen Marty. So, 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 so this guy goes and gets Marty. That, all right, Marty. Marty, the guy who well, bitch slaps you. Well, that's somebody went to get Marty. Because this guy Marty old Marty. not in any of this. Because Marty bitch slaps you. And he's, now he's in the paper saying he punched you yeah. and stuff. He's all excited. You know, he's lucky I didn't kill him. I could have easily. Should, you know what? You could have. If you watch the tape. You could have just pummeled him into the ground. He's lucky I didn't kill him. No, 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 no Robin. I'm saying. Oh, he could have. He had every see, legal right to do it. You got to see the guy. You got to see this guy, Robin. If you see it, you, but, but the, the point is, you know, you could you heard of yeah. an old man like that saying like no. I've talked to John and I said, hey, you know, sometimes you're gonna get some jerk who's gonna sit there and start in with you. Sure. Just you know, try to you know have some restraint. But if somebody smacks you, you have every right to smack him back. Oh, how? Well, at least a little bit. You know what you should have done? You should have taken your shoe off and beat him with your shoe like I turned. Like I, I just saw that list. Yeah. Oh that's what he used to do to Tina, because he didn't want to hurt his hand. You should have just bitch slapped him with your shoe. You take your boot off. So you don't hurt your hand. Okay, so you don't, why should you hurt your hand? I just saw it last night. Oh, you should have just beat him with your boot. Oh, that would have been that great. That is the best scene. Yeah. Best scene ever shot in a movie. And the guy fights weird, that guy Marty. He was like, wait, we got to see, watch this. Wait, is this the tape now? This is the audio. All right, tr Doug, try to play the video with us. Oh, All right, we're going. i got to get close, Sarah. Hey, cheer up, Sarah. Oh boy! Hello. Whoa! Oh. And now who's you now who's is he coming now? Am I in the right spot? Yeah, you're not in the right spot. Yeah, on right. on the video. So uh, yeah, here it comes. 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 Right. I didn't say anything to you. Hey, oh, you're hey.
Oh, here he comes. Here comes the guy. Wait, wait, wait. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. See, no, he has... Oh. 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 Did you see that? <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Get out of here. Get him out of here. You hear what he said? Yeah, you call black people niggers. Yeah. They're trying to build up a case yeah. against John. Yeah. This guy knows right now he just did the wrong thing. And he knows that he should be held accountable. But Howard, can I just say one thing? Yeah. You see, the first thing he hits is the camera. Yeah. He punches the camera. Right. Then he hits me. Right. And now he's trying to say that yeah. we hit him or something. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. Him and go ahead, show it again. I want to see it again. Watch the guy. Here he comes. Are you crazy? You're a crazy old man. He smacks Get the camera and he smacks John. You're a crazy old man. I hope you die tomorrow. Look at him. What is a drink? You can't go smacking members of the press. It's nothing, horrid, it's nothing like people did. in tuxedos. <laughs> yeah, so you heard the call. John never called anybody a nigger. John never called anybody anything. He asked him if he thought that the anti-Semitic remarks by Kathy Lee were out of line. It wasn't even there. But the guy didn't I'm, witness anything. He was told all this stuff if I was you, inside I'd, the room. But why would he charge out there so angry? And not only that, the guy doesn't apologize in the paper today. He's saying, go ahead and sue me. So well, sue you know what? This is what bothered me. Sue him. And we got it, tape of it. You, you, you didn't hit him with any it, camera. You know what? It bothers me that he slapped me. Then it also bothers me that he's boasting about it now. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, then do what you have to do. Because he comes he out comes with his hand up. Yeah. Look at him. Boom. He smacks you right in the head. He's in the face, John. Go back. i got to see that again. John's in shock. Freeze it on John's face. <laughs> I said, wait. Shock. It's too bad we can't put the sound up. Yeah, it's really cute. Yeah, no, wait, wait. I play it. I, I can't coordinate with Doug. It's just impossible. I'm trying to link here up. Here he comes. Here he comes. Get out of there. Get him out of here now. Are you crazy? You're a crazy old man. Get Look at that fight. We'll show this all on the E Network. <laughs> we got to get this right on. You know, uh, yeah. people are always calling up telling us things. I have no idea if this is true, but yeah. somebody said that this guy, yeah. you know, he dated for a short time? Who? Oh. Joan Rivers. Really? You got to call Joan and ask oh, her. Oh, really? Yeah. There you go. And we got to get Joan on the air and find out what the hell is the story on this guy. <laughs> And what's he screaming? You're calling people niggers? That's what he said. He, uh, come on. I would never do that. Please. Well, you would do it, but maybe come not on. here. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I can't. Jackie would. <laughs> hey, Jackie. Look at him here. I love this, this charge. Yeah, boom. He came out ready to hit. Yeah. yeah. He just, boom. He was looking for someone. I think he thought Doug was... Uh, and Howard, just more. you, I didn't call him an old mental after he hit me. Yeah. No, you were, you were fine. You didn't, you didn't do anything That's wrong. That's not right. You didn't do anything wrong. Gee, Ganji really helped you. <laughs> Ganji's trying to make a camera work. Oh, Mr. Karate. How did it yeah. go? Ganji doesn't even step in and try and break it up. He's just standing there, fixing his hair. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, he was looking at the camera. Yeah. Hey, John, you didn't do anything wrong. This guy's completely out of line and owes you an apology, at the very least. And probably some remuneration, oh, remuneration. I, I love this tape because it's so, it tells everything. First he punches the camera, yeah. then he punches me. Yep. He was out of control. He, the guy was just out of control. Right. He just was completely out of control. <laughs> There's two guys in their tuxedos. His friend there. Is yeah. Crazy. Yeah. That's I'm so funny. scared to do interviews again. I don't know if I can do my job anymore after this. Exactly. All right. And aren't you still in pain? You can turn off the tape now. <laughs> <laughs> that hat's pretty funny. <laughs> You should have you should have beat him with your shoe. Oh. You should have beat him into the ground. You know, I went through my head. And you know what? You can see he has his hair all like fixed so it won't like fall off his head. You should just beat his hair. After he hit me, I said, "No." Should you should have just beat him. If I punched him, you know, could he die of a heart attack? Who knows? Who you know? cares? You're on the legal right. Why and do somebody... I gotta be the one showing restraint all the well, time? Well, I don't know where the law is on that. Uh, I'll tell you where it is. Assaulted him. If somebody I, yeah. assaults you, you have every right to protect yourself. But you know how I've never, let me just say on the record, I've never hit anybody. Rekha Welsh hit me, Morton Down. I've never punched anyone back. I want to hit a girl, you pussy. No, I know, but yeah, I can see him in the paper no, beating up Rekha Welsh. But all I'm saying is that I never, you know, I'm not the, I'm not the. And Morton Downey is just a joke. I mean, he wasn't even, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't even. He's acting. He was, he's so desperate. Yeah, but, but this guy really smacked you. Yeah. But all I'm saying is I never, like, touch anybody. Right, I mean? right. Well, you do what you want to do, man. It's up to you. But I don't know, man. I, I'd show the tape to her. I don't know that there's a suit there. Where's Dominic, Dornis? Yeah, where is Dominic? 
I know. I, I'd love to talk to him about it. Probably I, eating breakfast. Because I did call a lawyer yesterday, and uh, yeah. yeah, their answer machine was full. It's amazing how people can burn themselves with coffee. Like Fran Drescher's got a lawsuit, but you can't have one. Some guy smacks you in the head. And you have yeah. it on tape. Yeah. And plus, he's not even apologetic. No. He was, and you never call. And he accused you of calling somebody a nigger. Never had. He doesn't that. even know if that's the reason he punched you. It was completely uh, false. No, yeah, is that a reason to hit someone? And do you right. punch someone on here? Yeah, side? if you want somebody to leave your establishment, you, leave. Leave. you ask him to leave. Who's that? You don't Dominic. Oh, Dominic. Go out and hit him. Well, you get security. Well, Dominic, John got a case. Well, the first thing John can do is file criminal charges. All he has to do, can do is go to any precinct. <clears throat> uh, preferably the one where this happened, and file a charge and bring the tape with them. They must arrest this man. I mean, there's no question about cool. it. Cool. Mm -hmm. And they'll probably arrest him for assault three or for um, harassment. Number two. You get a restraining well, order. Well, he get an order. He'll go to court, and they actually give him an order of protection now. So this guy, if John sees him in the street and the guy comes up to John, they would arrest him. <laughs> you should just, yeah, and you should just and walk near him. I'll walk where he works. Is. He'll be like kryptonite. Right, well, you can't go chasing him with your order of protection. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's not a joke. I mean, these orders of protection are very serious today. Right. But the biggest issue is about using reasonable force. You can only use what's reasonable to to uh, respond to what the person's doing to you. So yeah, right. I mean, you can't kill the guy, but he could have yeah. slugged him in the face. He could have protected himself with a right. punch for sure. Right. And I'm pretty sure this is a gentleman who marries one of the daughters of the Johnson Fortunes. Yes. I read that in the book. Yes. And he then went on and has done a lot of big Broadway shows and stuff. Super. Sounds like there's a lot of dough there. Deep so, pockets. So what I will do is I'm going to come see the tape for John uh, probably tomorrow. Yeah, good. Yeah, so Donna, I'd love for you. I'll the tape with you, John. Should I go to the police today? Well, if you want to, if you feel... I haven't seen the tape. We would like, uh, we would like you to see, view it, Dominic. The guy is not apologizing, though. Yes. I think yeah. that uh, you should go to the police. I haven't even seen any sort of uh, apology on his part. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I just see boasting. Boasting in the paper that he'd like to hit him again. Right. So well, you should feel concer concerned, John. Isn't that a threat? I'm getting a little concerned that this is heating up a little bit yeah. for John, and I think everybody's going to calm down, and we're going to really have an incident. So though. why don't we? So why don't we calm this down by uh, maybe looking into it a little further and right, teaching John, the guy a lesson? Call me in the office about twelve o'clock. All right. Thank you, Dominic. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. It's Dominic Barber, the bloated attorney, who we interrupted from breakfast. Oh, Actually, brunch. He'll be furnished breakfast by news. Yes. <laughs> but you know what? Our, <laughs> my way together. One of the reporters from one of the New York papers called me and and left. Uh, oh, and and told me that he had uh, Marty's publicist number. So apparently, they, yeah. It was, no, they're they're you know issuing I mean? this to get publicity. Yeah. They think it's a joke. It's a big publicity. Well, thing. when he gets arrested, I'm sure he'll call and get the publicity yeah. from it. Yeah, it makes him feel like it makes him feel like he's doing something. You know, what's he doing? <laughs> good work, John. Sorry to see that that happened, but certainly makes good for a good TV and radio show. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least everyone can watch the E show now and see exactly when you know what happened. Uh, absolutely, I, I predict big ratings. I I actually am very proud of John because I usually consider John a bit of a hothead, and yeah. he seemed to have handled himself very well in that situation. He did. Maybe you were afraid of old Marty there. No, I was, he bitch slapped you, you pretty good. You step back. You didn't even uh, put up a fight. <laughs> no, I grabbed him and pulled him up. What's the matter with you? you know, it'll keep it up. That old man handled you. <laughs> that guy did. It. Watch this guy Marty come up and like he starts. He, he doesn't even have a fight. He's like man. he's an old man. He's like he's like watch. Look at him. Look, his hands open. Watch John's face. Watch his face out. <laughs> John, you look like a queen. <laughs> Man. You know, it, 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 you know it, Marty it, packs a good punch, but yeah. it might cost him a few bucks. do the right thing, and this is, and this is what I get. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying there? Please don't hit me again? Yeah. John's like, <laughs> John's like please don't hit me again. <laughs> <laughs> Should have taken your shoe off. <laughs> hit him with your hat. I know. You showed some restraint. Yeah, you did. And I'm I think the judge will like that I'm in the case. I'm proud of you. you. You got a better case as a result. I know. That's you were a gentleman. You can't. Yes, stand there like he's at a fashion show. Yeah. <laughs> Janji doesn't even appear to know what's going on. <laughs> he's out of the action. All yeah, right. Janji, you might be the biggest homo. Oh, I'll, have, I'll have you know. Wait a minute. I, I was twofold. I helped John real quick, and then I grabbed his tape recorder to make sure we got it on tape. Right. That was my main job. I see. That was important, I thought. What do you mean? John's in the middle of a wrestling match, yeah, and where are you? I'm Nowhere. Right to he grabbed the tape recorder. I'm, I'm he's holding John. The tape recorder. Doug's involved. Because they knocked... They knocked the tape recorder away, so I went to grab that. And look, now see, I have the microphone, like, so I'm grabbing the, the audio. Right. You know, that's, I thought that was important. Yeah. 
Poor John getting beat, beat up. up. As long as we have it yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh, John, you look like a homo there. Ganji's got the audio to me, brother. Marty's a he-man. Don't let me. All right, very yeah, good. Thank goodness that guy jumped in and saved you, John. <laughs> yeah. Hi, right. right, Matthew Cash. Quick question with the BXRK radio. Sure. Um, did you get excited when you kissed Harvey Feisty? In what way? Well, in any way. Uh... I don't think I kissed Harvey Farstein. I kissed another guy in that movie. Oh, and not Touch Stone Children? Yeah, I didn't kiss him. Have you have you kissed any men since Touch Stone Children? Uh, what business is that of yours? I'm just asking. Just curious. No, I have Come not. Come on, Matt. I'm a big fan. Okay. No, I have not. How does it feel to be a, 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 a what? How does it feel to be a gay sex symbol? Uh, I don't know that I'm a sex symbol, so I don't know. Yeah, sure. Oh, there he is. Did you watch your father in Highway Patrol? My father wasn't in Highway Patrol. Do you have any good Christy McNissom? Christy McNissom? No, I, I don't know her at all. I, I don't know her at all. You have great questions, but I don't know any of them. Did you drive him after anyone? I took a taxi. What did you dump, dump Jennifer Gray? Oh. Anyone answer that? Oh, I'm done. Okay, so one more. Nope. This is, this is a good one. What would it take for you to make love to Whoopi Goldberg? What would it take for you to make love to Whoopi Goldberg? A gun to your head or drugs? What is going on? I don't know. You don't like that? No, nah, I'm done. Impressed. You know Howard Stern? Yeah. You like him? You like him? It's just on. Um, Got a minute? I don't want to talk. All right, thanks, Matthew. So I'm John with Matthew Broderick. Not digging me too much. Oh, what is? I'm going to fuck you like a wild lamb when I want this. Oh, my. John was in a frantic sort of uh, lather last night. He was just out of his mind. He was foaming from the mouth. All of his enemies converged, and he didn't know what to do. <laughs> he was he was under siege. <laughs> so uh, we sent him out to interview Morton Downey, and not that we care about Morton Downey. Normally we wouldn't, but when I heard he had a second anniversary party coming up, I said, you know, how's he got like that pay for that? Second anniversary of what? His, 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 uh, meeting his girlfriend, I uh. guess. I, I don't think it'll last past two years, though. <laughs> really? Oh, she was totally, like, hanging out after this happened. Yeah. She was hanging out, like... <laughs> With me, yeah, you know, saying what's not, well, I, you know, I don't know what's happening here, you know, and yeah. it's like go back to your old man, and and like they, he invited people there, he's trying to impress them that he's like under control now. He's totally not under control, man. The guy's lucky I didn't pop him. He seriously is. I would have made. I would have made. Oh, forget. I'm surprised you didn't really know you because I had this whole conversation with Kevin. He said, you know, you can't hit anybody. He goes, Why? Because because I I, can, I will never work. I, you know. I, you will never work where? On I, my no, show? Well, maybe not. You know, Channel 9 might, not, won't, won't let me do it. And, Channel 9 won't let you work? Yeah, if I well, start beating up be on sued. people and then maybe, you know, it just would be bad for everything. So in my mind, while this is happening, it's so cause, coincidental, but I'm thinking as I'm falling off the chair that I can't hit this guy. I see. You know? All right, so fine. You handled yourself very well. I started laughing. I'm proud right. of you. Very proud of you. So I have a control, Rob. Okay. Besides that, you know, he'd take that guitar hand of his and smash it. Because John I would have elbowed him. I would have it all planned out. I would have gave him a nice piece of my elbow in his chin. I'll tell you one thing. I know John could kick Morton down his ass. I know I can. I know you could. Well, you guys. He's, what difference does that make? To guys, it does. First of all, he smokes like a chimney, so he would not be able to last more than 10 seconds of all our fighting. No fights last more than 10 seconds anyway. Once you pop a guy yeah. in the chin with your elbow, yeah. he's out. He's down, and he's not looking for any more action. You kick him in the nuts. You do whatever but, you want. He does. also pops my his, like push nails my hands before this whole thing happens. Man, I mean, smart. Obviously, he's been a few brawls. <laughs> you know, you don't get your head shaved by uh, Nazi neo Nazis and not learn a, two, a thing or two about fighting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just find this a very interesting conversation. Unfortunately, the only thing he learned to fight was Bob Pittman, I guess, after uh, Pittman wanted to get rid of him after that incident. That's about all he fought. Morton Downey. He could have kicked his ass. No problem. I, I'd like to challenge him. I mean, but that's not saying oh. much. Morton Downey's mm. fight you could kick. No, I know. But <laughs> well, Mort thinks he's a tough guy. I, I just thought I'd be the one that was under control. Not, no. So John got completely out of hand. He got completely wild and... Started making phone calls to... Who'd you call first, Gary or Jackie? The first one I called Gary, but I only got his machine. Oh, that's when you called ja Jackie? Then I said, who... The only other number I remember, I know I know, I know, know Robbins and I know Jackie's. So I called Robbins, and just before the thing, you know, clicks and starts ringing, I go, wait a second, what am I nuts? So I hung up the phone, and then I called, <laughs> I, I called Jackie, because I know... I he was still in shock. 
I think he's like, he's still, still in one piece before he called me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what are you doing? It's Sean. Are you there? Dude. Dude, Martin Downey taught me. I know. Hard to believe. Uh. Give me a call. He f***ed the Moran. Totally f broke it up. And, and uh, I took a cassette tape, man. I should have f***ing beat the out of him, man. Oh, man. All right. Bye. I'm... I'm... I'll see <laughs> I love the way he talks to an answering machine like it's a person. That's good. That's a hard thing to do. Can you think believe the person, it? I think the person's watching the thing just to watch me talk. Can you believe that he popped me? A machine. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah. You stutter less into the machine, I think, because uh, well, who's, who's that person? interrupt? Right. <laughs> I just want to get to the conclusion of this. See, the thing I didn't tell you is the first thing he does is he hits me on the hand. He, he, he you know, he, he, he smacks me on the hand. Like, what is his problem, man? And then he comes up to me real close and just like, you know, with those big fake teeth, the big choppers. Yeah. Well, and he stuff, tried like, to get close. And stuff like spitting on me and stuff, yelling his, like, you know, like doing his old shtick from the old show. Yeah. Just doing that to me, and I'm like, dude, don't spit on me. Let me just hear this. This is wild. Dude. You went in. Who's the first person we hear on this? Martin. Where are you from? Hi, this is uh, for the Howard Stern Show, for Tape the Broadcast. For Howard Stern? Yeah. How are you, Martin? For his uh, radio show or television show? This is for both. For both? <laughs> I'm fine. What's your name? John. Hey, John, where's Howard? How come he didn't come? No balls? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, Howard. Yeah, that's what I like to do all night. It's party. He hangs out with you all the time, doesn't he, Mort? You see him everywhere you go. Yeah. Oh, don't you get it, Mort? I actually concentrate on my show. That's why I'm successful. I'm not out having parties. Exactly. It's the difference between me and you. I'm disciplined. And also, I've got some talent. You loser. Well, this is nothing. He doesn't stop on you for a while. He goes off. He's such a loser. And he's so jealous. Oh, he's, oh definitely. But you know what's funny? When me and he Rob has no talent. When me and Robin saw him at the China Club in L.A., he was totally, like, kissing up to us, remember? You know? Well, that's exactly what he would have done to Howard. Right. Uh, this uh, was hey. your he was doing a performance. He was doing a performance. But I think there's a lot of a maniac in this man. He ought to learn not to start, you know, to keep hitting people, because there's going to be one more person just suing him. Uh, no balls. Yeah, no balls. What I want to do all night is hang out with uh, Yeah, Martin I mean, Downey. it sounds really exciting to celebrate his second anniversary <laughs> it's, it's, of this, meeting a showgirl. There's somewhere I want to be. It's Martin Downey and, <laughs> and Richard Bay in the same table, you know, like you oh, know, the, uh, the um, table of has you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a table. What a table. What an exciting day. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Can't get your cord straight there? There we go. Oh, gee, it wasn't plugged. Oh, here we are. We weren't plugged in. Here we go. No. I'm on. Can I ask a question? Sure. This is for how Stern's show. It's television. Yeah, it's television. Television. Yeah. XRK and his TV yeah. show. How come he didn't come? Well, he's tired. He's been, he's on TV now. Or is he trying to check to see if he's grown any balls yet so he won't face me face to face? I don't know. Well, let me ask a question. How are you paying for this? I mean, well, what's going to happen when I see him face? I've seen him face to face many times. He sits there, he smiles, and, uh, you know, that's just his shtick. No talent. He's nothing to me. If I'm nothing in show business, he's nothing to me. So where's that place him? <laughs> Go work on your sitcom, Mort. We thought you were bankrupt. No, Howard's paying for it. That's why I was wondering why he wasn't here. No, I mean like Howard's a big Howard's a big schmucky muck now. No, I'm saying I mean like, Howard's uh, making all kinds of dough. Yeah, no, but like what's hey, that Howard, guy to do? A schmucky muck. A schmucky You're muck. a schmucky muck. Oh, I didn't know I was a schmucky <laughs> muck. What's that make him? If I'm a schmucky muck. <laughs> dunce. What a dunce. Go beat yourself up in a, in a bathroom at an airport <laughs> and paint swash stickers on your head, you moron. <laughs> Loser. A schmucky muck. Oh, you're, he's a big schmucky muck. <laughs> See, yeah. you can tell already he's 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 getting heated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, it, it, next time you represent the gold mining company, why don't you uh, check the fine print, Mort? If I'm such a schmucky muck. People for years. Yeah, but can I see How'd the How'd you get in here? You look like a slob. I just want to hear where he punches you. Okay, so just roll it. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't have fake, you know... Jack I don't have anything fake, especially my brain, punk. Blow your ass out of here. Listen, let me ask you. Did you hear me say blow your ass out of here? I don't, I don't know. What do you that. think? I'm some punk that you can come I'm up to and I'm just asking you questions. Well, you can't ask me because I think Howard Stern sucks. I think he's got the brains of an amoeba. Hmm. And I think you're a complete asshole, Howard. So suck my earlobe, punk. Get out of here. Get out of here. Now here's my hand. Get out of here. Get out of here.
I'll sue you, Mark. You sue me? Yeah, but, yeah, but I, I can't. Can you knock you down? No, this is this is when he smacks my hand. He smacks your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. but, but 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 it isn't. It's a total. It's a serious hit. You know what I mean? But, but yeah, right. You know, so and what's his problem? Why all of a sudden? The guy who gave him the ability to even have some stardom, which is me, because of what I do on the radio and stuff, he's like one of those clones who sort of just does it badly. There are guys out there who do, do me better than uh, he does. But because I've given him a whole career, they get hostile. And they resent the talent. Yeah, but this is very calculated because you hear me stands there very kindly and waits till right. everything's on. Yeah. You know, and he says, oh, is this for radio and television? Okay, no. okay. And now, you, now let me think. What am I going to do? I, what you're hearing in the background is now the that guy that, who called me a gay basher the last time. Yeah. Now he's yelling now goodbye, and he starts he starts talking and getting involved. Oh, I see. He's involved. Now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this I professional gotta, party yeah, goer. Yeah, no, he's actually supposed to be a photographer, but he seems to love to get involved in controversy every time. You know. Hey, I can't see your face. Don't spit on me, Martin. Hey, uh, that's not really nice. Get out of here, punk. Why? What am I doing? That was so wrong. Your father. You did I ask you to be my guest? No, but, but you. Did said, I ask you to be my guest? Yeah, yeah, but you did okay. I ask you to be my guest? No, but you okay the interview. The answer is no. Yeah, but you. you, you I okayed okay an interview because I thought I was talking to a human being, not Howard Stern. Turns a little funky. Uh, okay, well, you shouldn't spit right? so much, you know. I, I spit a lot. It isn't my fault. If you don't like it, you can do something about it, because I'm capable of taking care of myself. So am I. Good. So am I. Listen, man. So take care of yourself out on the street where you look like you just borrowed 50 cents in a cup. Listen, at least I have money. I'm not bankrupt. Hello, David. How are you, pal? Oh, that's where David yeah, comes in. What David. is wrong with him? Don't I don't no idea. I don't. That's know David who works on our TV show comes in and uh, has to How come. How did you change your attitude that quickly? Yeah. You're so upset. Yeah. Hello, Dave. Hi, Dave. I'm in the middle of doing some shtick. Yeah. Trying to get some, trying to get someone to notice me. Right. Isn't he embarrassed in front of? Well, I guess I, why would he be embarrassed? Yeah, whole thing. Yeah, right. I mean, this is the least of his embarrassment. <laughs> Hey, Martin, can I just ask you a question? Huh? Let me just ask you a question. No, you're not asking me. Serious question. Oh, serious. I gotta save Martin. Serious question. Hang on, let me just ask him one question. Come on, I'm asking one question. Serious, unbeta question. Unbeta question. David is now. Now I'm all you. I'm gonna have a lot to say to David on a different vehicle. Somebody better save David. Yeah, from me. When they remove your warts, do you save them in a pickle jar? When I remove my warts, I sent them to your mother, who fried them with your eggs and locks, and you ate them. Man, you, you're so wound up today, Mort. Isn't, isn't this like a party for you? I'm not wound up, man. When I get wind up, when wind I get up. wound up, I take punks like you, twist your noses off. Hey, I'm a college grad. Down your, you're a college yes, grad. A college That'll grad. show you, man, what's happened to the educational system in this country if you're a college grad. Hey, can you send me some of that great album stuff you did? You got it, man. Listen, you got listen. It. Seriously. Let me just ask you a question, Martin. Would your wife go and dance topless in clubs for the money if you really needed it? Would my wife dance topless in clubs for money? Money. Yeah. She like, never did dance tough. I know, but if, if, you, know, if you really need the money, since I know that you are. Oh, man. How many people were there? What a lot of people. Me? A lot of people. A lot, like, you know. Is how hung up he is on appearance. Yeah, you that's know? another thing. He's all over John for not dressing correctly yeah. to be in his presence. <laughs> yeah. You know, you look like a schmuck. Well, he is one. Yeah. That's why he's mm. so concerned. Yeah, tell him not to worry about what people look like. Yeah, I, you know, I, I told you before that you know he had he has a Steven Seagal look now. His hair's all slicked back, a little pony. Looking yeah. forward to seeing that look. Yeah. <laughs> and his luau of losers at this party, you know. All right, let's take a break. Come back. All right, John. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> That's the first time nothing ever came out. It's like ten seconds. And I wonder what he was gonna say. I was gonna say that we're on, we're right about on that. It's gonna happen. He said. Uh, okay. Oh, very good. All right, we'll be back with the big moment, as they say, right after these words. We got to rush into this because. Uh, Everybody wants to hear it. So, okay, you and Martin, Danny, are going at Rule it. Rule it back a little bit because John says we're right on the... <laughs> Press piss. Press piss. Press piss. Press piss. <laughs> what is wrong with Precipice. We're teetering on the precipice. Why don't you talk to him? <laughs> Would your wife go and dance topless in clubs for the money if you really needed it? Would my wife dance topless in clubs for money? Yeah. She if, like, never did dance topless. I know, but if, if, you know, if you really need the money, since I know that you I are bankrupt. See, I wouldn't ask my wife to do that. I wouldn't ask my wife. I wouldn't ask yes, my lady would. to do that at all. I got too much class. Holy f***, look at this. What is happening? What are you saying?
Canadian. You just shut. You. you just shut up. I'll kick your ass out. You kick no one's ass. All right, now John oh, is yelling man. at the guy who. No, because now his what girlfriend. Happened? His girlfriend grabbed the questions out of my hand. Yeah. So she takes the hand, she takes them from me. Then the gay, the guy called me gay basher, who I hope to see in the street one day. No, you don't. Starts, You're not going to do anything. Go starts, ahead. Starts yelling at me now. So, you know, so again now, now now has to bring up this argument we had previously. Now has to bring it up on you know, and, uh, you know as we're going along here. <laughs> so he starts in with me. Yeah. And then I start going. I'll, you know, I'll kick you up because he's already saying something like he'll be. I don't know what he's saying to me. Right. So it's, You're so, being a guy. Yeah. So now. The girlfriend has the other questions. Kevin hands me another copy of the questions, and that's where we are right now. Okay. Oh so you have another copy. I have another copy. And you're yelling, you and Morton Downey's saying you're not going to kick anybody. Yeah, because okay, he's, yeah, he's, he's there. Guy. Right, oh tough man. Oh, my God. Oh, get away from No me. one says. Look at this. Look at this. What, what is it? You want us all kicking ass? What's happening now? What? Oh, my God. What? Now his, so now his wife takes the second set of questions. Yes, <laughs> no, no, he just oh, hit me. Oh, he just hit me. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, because I hear His it. wife grabs the other questions, and, and I react, and I go to grab him back. Now, realize they took John's tape recorder and smashed it, so we wouldn't have had this audio tape, but we got the, the, the video, video guys have yeah. it. So now I grab the, the, to get the, 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 the second set of questions back from his wife, yeah. and then when as soon as I just immediately just go up to grab the questions, he's now on the thing that I, I'm, I'm, I'm touching his wife. So then he just takes a slug at me. Not like a, it's almost like a push slug. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a gay hit. Okay. And he right. did nothing. But I, but see, I, but, but I, you know, I fall down on the, cause I, cause I'm on this chair, so I fall back on the chair. Right. And, and, and that's where we are now. All right. Oh, man. All right, take it easy. I, man. I go back a little bit to get the whole essence of the situation. <sighs> Is all of New York tuned in and Philly and Washington? It's gotta be. There's no, you know, right now there are no other radio stations on the dial as no, far as I'm No, people are talking to themselves on right. other radio stations. You know That's what the right. best part of this is, is he's in the middle of this melee and Kevin is handing him another set of questions. Like, <laughs> right. To keep the, he, he keep yeah, it like going. he's going to get another get question another out. Question. <laughs> but Kevin asks a question, he's so brave. Yeah, but I like well, the fact that he's in the middle of a melee. What's yeah. yeah. yeah, the oh, melee? And before this whole thing. That's a girl Jack used to date, the woman with one leg, melee. <laughs> before this whole thing started, Kevin told me I cannot hit anybody. I'm not allowed to hit anybody. <laughs> So <laughs> I lost my headphones. Who hit me? <laughs> so as I'm falling down, yeah. in my head I'm going, I can't hit him. I'm not allowed to hit the guy back. So right. I'm, I'm I'm laughing because I can't believe this idiot would actually go for it. I mean, the, you know. all right, all right, let me hear. I, got, I go back to get the whole thing going on. Oh, nothing from my wife. My Look at this. Uh, well, unbelievable. Oh. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing you in court. Right. Right. Relax. 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 No, he didn't. Who says no, he didn't? <laughs> I don't know. Probably that guy with the gay bag. He's, he's a real idiot. I'd like to meet him. Stop that! He just popped me. The guy just hit me. Relax. 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 Just shut up, you old man. Ah. Old enough to jump your ass. Yeah. Yeah. You just hit me, Mark. You're lucky I don't beat the out of you, Mark. Oh, you guys talk about what they're going to beat out of you. It's amazing it's never happened. I have a job, you know? That hurt. I'm going to someone touches my lady. I don't touch the lady. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. My lady. Imagine having that title, yeah. being Morton oh. Downey's lady. Oh, oh she was ready to hide now. Oh, yeah, uh, she looked, appeared to be so coked out of her mind. Wait, whoa. hey, hey, John. Whoa. John, whoa. I'm sorry. Down. All right. Uh, she appeared to be very nervous. She appeared to be nervous. She was shaking. Yeah. She was shaking and going. Uh, 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 she came up to me and goes, uh, 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 "It's on tape." She's. Uh -huh. <laughs> And, and she admits on tape that yeah. I didn't touch her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Her own, his own wife is saying how I didn't touch her. It Pro proves what an ignoramus this idiot is. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, my ass. Yo, yo, this is the tape recorder. Then get this guy out of here. Who the f owns this job? Hey, we'll get him out of here. Get him out now. I'll get it. I'll get it for you. Who's, who's like, calming him down? Yo, Kevin. Kevin. I should hit him No, I should be able to pop him back, Kevin. Uh, no, that's a bull. Wait, away from me, man. I didn't touch you. I grabbed the question. No, I didn't touch you. No, I didn't touch you. I didn't touch anybody. It's more than a wife. This not his wife. This is his girlfriend. No, business partner. Okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, it was on the floor, but I didn't hear it. No, 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 they picked it up and they yeah. took it. Yeah. Someone yeah. took it. It was here. It was here. It was here. You, you have the tape player back here. You've what is the tape recorder in the mat? You got the tape player? You saw your tape recorder, right? Oh, oh, okay. Just okay. Yeah. I'll see you in court. There he is again. Uh, yeah, 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 Just now, my ass. And we go back and forth again. Boy, isn't this some celebration? <laughs> this is where we start going back and forth again. <laughs> Don't hit somebody for doing nothing. And ask you a question. I didn't, hit, I didn't touch anybody. To see you in court, man. To see you in court. Love you all. You're successful. You're long. Yeah, at least you have it. Love the At least I have it. I guess I have to see some. Oh, oh you God, have to yeah, see I it. Can't you have to see this. It. This is this is phenomenal. Oh, it's incredible. You can tell that Moore's really happy with his life. Yeah. You know, he's out there celebrating his second anniversary of and meeting his girlfriend, guys. and he's having a fit. It's not going to last. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. Hi. Yes. Hi. Here's your question for WXYK Radio and, and uh, E Television. Sure. Okay. Um, would you like to, to machine gun Barney? Pardon me. Would you like to machine gun Barney? Would you? I wouldn't. Would you? Well, uh, those people are trying their best to do something that's that's helpful for children. And anybody who wants to do something good for children is important for me. Why is Captain Kangaroo so bitter? So what? Why, why is Captain Kangaroo so bitter? Do you find him bitter? Yeah. Hey, that's strange. I never found Captain Kangaroo bitter. Let, let me ask you one more question. Do you advocate... Oh, excuse me. All right. All right, Mr. Rogers, thanks. Uh, do you advocate Sorry. electrocution for a guilty OJ? Excuse me. Let's go. Do you? What? Do you? Yeah. Do you? I think he's guilty. Let's get the kids. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Rogers. I'll see you. I'm a big fan of yours, man. See you. Hello, you who? Who is this? Sure, sure, retarded blue. Uh huh? I'm retarded, you dork! <laughs> you stupid bastard. Stutter and John here with Geraldo Rivera. Hi, Geraldo. How you doing, man? Hey, good, good. Yeah. I'm uh, John from the Howard Stern Show. Hi. Uh, this is for tape to, this is for tape to broadcast. Uh, why are you avoiding Howard Stern? Um... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, like, why haven't you been on? I, I used to be on all the time. I used to, yeah. And what happened? I, I tell you, I like Howard, and I, I do think he's funny, very, uh, very talented. But it just seemed to me that he treated me very well when I was there with him on the air, and then when I left the studio, he would bad mouth me, and I thought that that was hypocritical. Okay. Uh, that's the main reason. But I really do. I, I, I like him. I like Robin. I like the, uh, you know, what they do, especially on the radio. Okay, let me ask you. When you look at police brutality, do you see a bruised victim or a theme for a TV show? When I actually see it happening, I always react uh, to things. I react. Uh, I'm an honest man. I react sincerely to things. I don't, I don't see... Uh, Victims of violence as uh, as fodder for TV productions. That's not my style. What's wrong with Tony Orlando? Uh, no, nothing. Why? No, I was. Uh, do you miss Danny Thomas? Uh, I guess so. Um, have you? Did Howard write these questions? Yeah, have you ordered one eight hundred fifty two Stern? No, what is it? It's Howard's new CD. You didn't hear about it? No. Oh, it's all his radio things that's been banned by the FCC. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you are you pissed off at Donnie and Oprah for stealing your format? No, Donnie came long before me. Oh. Um, Donnie has been on the air for 24 years now. Are you recognized at cockfights? <laughs> 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 I recognize every place. Okay, um, who, who, seriously, who are some famous people that you smoke pot with? Uh, I don't smoke pot. Yeah, but you used to. 
I, I did in the 60s and early 70s. Did you? John Lennon. Have you smoked pot with him? In 1971. Wow, wow. Uh, will you ever change your name to a Chinese name? Yeah, maybe. Okay, let me just ask you two more questions, all right? What do you feel... <laughs> What do you feel more allegiance to? A Passover or Cinco de Mayo Day? De Mayo. Yeah. De Mayo. I, uh, 50-50. 50-50. Okay, Raul. Thanks a lot, okay. man. Okay. That was a very incisive interview. I like the top questions, the range of topics covered, and but professionalism with You realize what Howard does is just, is, I mean, in the air, is just, he's just, you know, he's just fooling around. I mean, no, I don't, you know, to me, when you're a friend, you don't do that to friends. That's all. You know, I guess that's no big deal. And he, he can, but he has a choice. He could either badmouth me or have me on the show. Why don't you come on and train it out with him? Right? <laughs> you can put it out. You got the <laughs> All right. If you ever do a Weber thing, I guess. We're the only on the same station. The only on the same station. That's right. Nah. Oh! <laughs> I'm retarded, you jerk! Uh huh? Well, it seems like uh, John was a hot topic of conversation everywhere yesterday. Stutter and John making the news. Come on, Bobby. Give him a round of applause. Give Ouch. The... What did you just do? I just pulled my back. You know, I have a back problem. What is going on? Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. What is uh, it? Not only was he at the press conference and all, all over the news, but he was uh, discussed last night uh, on the Larry King show. Oh, yeah? Hold on. Who's that, Jenks? No. No, some other guy that heard it. Hello? Hey, Scott. Checked out the phones. Everything's working. Hello? Good morning. Good morning. See? That's the way it should be in the morning. That you hit the button and the person is there. Yeah, why do I have to sit and hit 37 buttons? <laughs> good job, Scott. That was too easy. Let's see. Stutter and John did a good job yesterday, and Scott did a job this morning. Hey. We're on a roll. How about that? <laughs> well, let me just uh, tell everyone what happened. Stutt there was this big press conference yesterday. I'm sure if you watched the news, you saw it. It was um, Jennifer Flowers with a G. Jennifer with a G. Yes. Very, very, like, like she didn't make that name up a couple of years ago. <laughs> I don't think her parents gave her that one. But uh, she was a little piece of ass, too, I'll tell you that. Very attractive. I, you know, she in that Star magazine, she didn't look nearly that attractive. Yeah, she looked really nice. A little double chin, but hey. Really? I didn't know. notice that. Little, little something happening under that chin, but that's just, okay. Just a nice-looking woman, that's yeah. all I know. Yeah, real pretty. Bad nose job, but pretty. <laughs> you always check the nose. Yeah, I mean, it's way too thin. I mean, she's not natural-looking. <laughs> but anyway... The Jennifer Flowers. <laughs> this is this is amazing me. Robin and I were talking about this in my office earlier this morning. She had a press conference to talk about how she was screwing this guy, Bill Clinton. She was having sex with him. All of a sudden, that's, you know, <laughs> you get a podium. Yeah, a podium. And a and mic <laughs> and tons of reporters sitting there going, excuse me, Miss Flowers, would you answer my question? And, and did you see all of her advisors and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she had a whole entourage. You get people, you get everything. Yeah, and she's sitting up there like all smug and everything and all serious. And really, all she did was have an affair. And she's sitting there going, Bill Clinton's a liar. And, and you know, wait a second. Who are the, you? Yeah, who's the biggest liar on the planet? She was busy going around with another woman's husband in, and sleezing around with him for allegedly 12 years. And I love how they always whined, oh, it was a mistake. I was just carried away by the moment. Yeah, 12 <laughs> years she was carried away by the moment. I mean, in 12 years you start to wise up. All right. And second of all, uh, if you listen to those tapes, the only thing those tapes prove is that she had a phone conversation with him. There's nothing sexual on those tapes. She brings up something sexual. He goes, what? Yeah. I mean, if anything, that proves to me he didn't have sex with her. I'm saying he, that I'm with him. I, don't, I mean, I think he's banged plenty of gay sheesh. I don't think he's had her, though. I think he could have. I don't know. I don't know, but, you know, I'm just saying that one tape doesn't have a lot of sex talk. And when she tries to get into it about oral sex, right. he's just like, what are you, what? Yeah, that did seem like a setup, like she was trying to make him get on the phone oh, and talk yeah. about sex. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so she's sitting up there all holier than thou, and when John asked his questions, I know the lawyer was getting all upset, and it's like, excuse me, there's a woman up there bragging that she banged a guy for 12 years. That's all that is. I mean, what, 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 is she, what is she so proud of up there, that she achieved oral sex or something with a yeah, guy for 12 years? What kind of etiquette do you use yeah. with a woman uh. who does anything? <laughs> she's a slob. <laughs> she's a pig, is what she is. 
She's just a pig of a woman. Yeah, so how are we supposed to know which rules you use for yeah. her? She's the lowest of the low. He's lying, and I can't just stand it anymore. It's disgusting. Oh, excuse me, sweetheart. What did you do for 12 years if you had an affair with him? You lied to everybody. Yeah, for 12 years. Now yeah. she's tired. Yeah. <laughs> now she's tired of the lies. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> You're missing the point that she's a, a, a celebrity in her own right. She was... In, she was... Um, she, she made four appearances on uh, he, he Haw, you know. Well, according to what I read, they, they're saying that they're not even sure she was on Right, Hee they're still trying to they, prove no, that. The uh, lawyer came out and said she made four appearances on Hee Haw and she was Miss Teenage America, uh, of the American Teenager, Miss American Teenager. But evidently she claimed a lot of other things on her resume, like uh, opening for Kenny Rogers, opening for all these different people. Oh, yeah, she opened for, uh, the, the lawyer came out and verified that she opened for, what's the guy's name? She used to open for... Uh, 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 Bill Clinton, no. Roy Clark. <laughs> Roy Clark? Yeah. 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 Well, your stutter's getting worse and worse. When I met you, you didn't stutter this bad. Maybe it's the pressure of your job. I think it is. Yeah. The, the price of fame. Yeah. All of us pay a price. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Roy Clark. <laughs> But, uh, oh, yeah, the lawyer says he has proof that she did all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, he came out and we gave a, gave a whole introduction of all her mm. achievements. Yeah, and what's her point, you know? I mean, she's going around trying to prove that she's right. I mean, she's trying to prove that she banged a guy for 12 years. I mean, what, what, what does that merit? Advisors? And, you know, I think I'd have a better feeling about it if she just came forward and said, look, I'm sick of being hounded. I can't remember all the lies I've told. I finally got to tell the truth. But she didn't start talking until somebody offered her money. Yeah, she's a pig. Hey, anyway, so Larry King, what did he? Who did he have on, sir? Okay, he had Rod Lurie, and he was a tabloid investigator. Right. Right. Uh, David Osborne, Clinton's advisor, and your favorite, Cindy Adams. <laughs> Cindy Adams, the yenta of all yentas. She's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Larry King has this panel of people discussing Jennifer Flowers. And I guess somebody called up to complain about John's behavior at the press conference, which we'll play for you in a second. His behavior? Yeah. They want to complain about John's behavior. Yeah. And um, I guess one of the reporters there, Doug Stutter and John, let me hear that. Okay. To the news conference atmosphere today was a circus. I will not mention specifically whom this person was affiliated, but there was a buffoon in the audience calling out salacious questions, which re rendered the whole thing down to the level of a circus. And unfortunately, that individual was carrying a, a New York City Police Department working press card. And they need to screen who gets into these things more carefully because it reduced the whole level of the news conference. I it was. forced Miss Flowers' attorney to cut short the news conference, and that was not fair to the governor or to Ms. Flower. Oh, by the way, I'll say to the buffoon, I don't care. It's uh, the world-famous stuttering John from the Howard Stern Show. Uh, oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> well, that, if he were there, <laughs> even Cindy will say, that's bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> hey, that's pretty funny. You know, because uh, John also got mentioned on Channel 4 News. I have that. Yeah? Yeah. Um, the, the rep I, I was watching Channel 4, 5 o'clock news. That's the NBC affiliate in New York. And the guy started off the thing by saying the press conference got very wacky, you know, something like that. And I just said, uh-oh. I think, I, think, I think this involves us, you know. So, uh... I threw a tape in the machine thinking that they'd mention Stutter and John, and sure enough, they did. Wow. So here's, here's what they said. Uh, he was spotted as a political trickster who dogged Richard Nixon during his campaigns. And before and what he's talking about here is there were two tricksters in the audience. One was Stutter and John, but the other one was some guy who started getting up in the middle of the press conference screaming that the tapes were a fake. And uh, then the, all the reporters recognized him as some guy during the Nixon uh, administration oh. was this guy who used to go around screaming that the tapes were fake. <laughs> and he was doing the same thing again. That was old shit. What did they do? They threw him out? I didn't see him. Really? Yeah. It must have happened earlier. So then, of course, it was you, too. That a question of working for the Howard Stern radio show broke up the press gallery here by asking uh, Jennifer Flowers if Governor Clinton used a condom. Uh, not a high moment for American politics, but we will have more. <laughs> <laughs> not a high moment for American politics. Her banging him is a high moment yeah, for American right. politics. I mean, that's the whole thing. They had legitimate press hmm. sitting there asking this woman questions. Like what? What could they ask her? 
Well, I like that guy on the phone to Larry King. They have to start throwing reporters out of these. Uh, anybody who isn't uh, sort of fit the boring mold of reporter. Yeah. And he got this guy actually wants his freedoms taken away. He wants the people thrown out of press conferences. We got to determine who should get in and who should not. Yeah, I say anybody who holds a press conference. That means anybody can get in. They want to be asked questions. Right. They don't right. say by whom. And John is a legitimate reporter. He works for a radio station and a television station. He probably has more access to media than uh, most reporters. Yeah, apparently this guy knew you pretty well. He knew what kind of a pass he had and everything. Yeah. That was a pretty legitimate question, though. That wasn't... As yeah, whether he used the con. Yeah, I'm sure his wife would like to do that. Well, if you want to hear what John did, let me take a short break, and I'll play you the whole press conference, what John was doing at the press conference, okay? And thanks for the call, man. All right. All right. Bye. And we apologize for not treating Miss Flowers with our due respect. Yeah, some beast who gets up there and uh, it starts crying because she doesn't. She's sick of all the lies that Bill Clinton is telling. Meanwhile, she's the biggest liar, adulterer of all. She must have cried for like ten minutes straight or during when they were playing the tapes. Yeah. Oh, Sat in the wow. chair and cried. Yeah. What a fake. Yeah, these tapes are really sad. <laughs> she was crying because she sunk so low that she had to tape a guy on the telephone for no apparent reason. John, from now on, I want you to give a lot of honor to whores, because that's what that reminds me of. When women just spread their legs for some guy because he's in political office, and for 12 years they go along with it, and everything's fine as long as they're getting something out of it. And you know why it. she's pissed? She's not going to be in the White House. That's all. Yeah. She can't believe this guy's getting so far <laughs> without me, her. So. <laughs> yeah. She's going to make sure of it. Yeah. He's she's not gonna... taking me. He ain't going either. You know what? This is really a modern day, that movie with Glenn Close. Um, oh, fatal attraction. Fatal attraction. This is a fatal attraction. Guy had an affair with the 12 years. Let's, let's say he did have the affair, okay? Let's go along with that. All right. Had the affair, okay? Now he's back with his wife, perhaps. Who knows? Whatever it is. This is private life. So this woman's going to, she's going to have him no matter what. If I can't have you, nobody's going to have that's you. And right. that's going to be it. And she's going to teach him a lesson. And it's a nightmare. He can't get rid of her. Yeah. And she's doing it right in public. And then one day she shows up in his house and he drowns her in the bathtub. Well, this is what, and then she comes back and his wife has to well, shoot her. Well, she said the reason why she was crying is because that she loves him. Right. Yeah, well. This is some love. Yeah, I need a woman that loves me like that. Ooh. Yeah, thanks for all your love. <laughs> In fact, don't love me. Yeah. <laughs> don't love, love me, me so much. Love me a little less. And she's not a bad looking woman. She could certainly get another sucker to go with her. Oh, well, you heard that the, the story about the stockbroker she had roped into thinking she was a wonderful woman and he was going to marry her. And then he found out about the 12 year affair and he dumped her. So. Oh, I see. <laughs> she, you know, was dumped twice. But, you know, um, when someone behaves like that, a prostitute goes up and takes money. She's honest. She's honest. She says, here, give me some money, I'll have sex with you. This reminds me of prostitution. Oh, this is much more sleazy than that. Yeah. Because she's saying, I love you, but really what she's saying is, I want to use you. Yeah. And if you would if you would stay with me, none of this would be happening yeah. to you. So good luck to her. Hope she can sleep at night. Ready? Mm-hmm. I think, yes, you probably did. So, Jennifer, the governor, Clinton, governor Clinton is reported to have also said to you in those conversations to just tell the truth. The, the report being that that's not what we're seeing in the star because they've taken it out. Did the governor at any time tell you on the telephone to just tell the truth about what happened? He told me to just deny it. So governor Clinton used a condom? <laughs> That's the funny part, That's that guy a, laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? I don't know, man. Froggy. That's great. I think it's a legitimate question. That's the funny part. <laughs> well, you hear the questions that he gets off, but uh, <laughs> the whole press corps is cracking up. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Because we really had about nine good questions. They're all good. Yeah. What balls? How big is it, Jennifer? What is the lawyer saying? You didn't hear it. He goes, uh, if, it's, if there's any further questions like that, we're going to stop the press conference. Good. Good. She just deserves no press conference. Why? Why do we give women... 
press conferences whose whose greatest accomplishment in life is is pulling their pants down and spreading their legs. Guys are sleeping with people all the time. They never get press conferences about it. Well, now I'm getting more nervous because I know that all the press is going to hate me when I ask another one and they throw right. and they stop the conference. <laughs> yeah. So now you got to pick your moment. Oh, now I'm now I'm uh, you know. You really broke them up though. It's great because you know what? It, it really deserves to be broken up. You know what? Yeah. Because there was a lot of tension in that room. Right. Everybody was a little too serious. I think everybody. You know, I feel bad for reporters. You got to pay so much attention to some woman who's up there and she's got a, a puss on her oh I mean, yeah you serious... thought she had discovered the cure for AIDS yeah you would have thought that she had done something very important in life she had a puss on her and it was a very heavy attitude. she sat there she probably you know she probably gave him some oral sex and spread her legs for him a couple hundred times <laughs> and that's it big deal you don't think she took it from behind, do you? No, oh, boy. <laughs> well, she said they did it everywhere. Oh, really? In her apartment. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I think that means something else. No crevice was left undiscovered by Governor Clinton. <laughs> no opening was too small for Governor Clinton. <laughs> It's a social issue, you know. I will always have a place in my heart for Bill Clinton. Twelve years of my life, I very, very deeply for him and share very special things with him. Jennifer. Jennifer, will you be sleeping with that? With, 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 uh, will you be sleeping with any other presidential candidates? <laughs> well, what's going on after you ask that? I mean, are they just everyone's off? laughing. The, oh, all the cameras are on me now. Yeah. Everybody turns around, so everyone's and the lawyers are um, the like... lawyers. He's totally hating me because he wouldn't pick on me. He knew he knew that I didn't look too good to right. choose, so he kept avoiding me. So I, I just had to sabotage. You know, you, you scream out. You know. Ah, so he did, he was calling on people, but he never. Yeah, he would never look at me. So I, I moved up five feet in front of their faces and started yelling. I want to find out whose laugh that is. Get him booked on our TV show. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? For for just like a little laugh, give Jackie a rest every in once fact, in a while. In fact, you should send him to all of John's. Uh, he yeah. should be at all of John's. Press conferences. Because poor Jackie has to laugh at everything on the TV show. He's the only guy in the audience with that loud, booming laugh. So that guy was st is still laughing. Right? Like, <laughs> but it's making this even funnier. And he has a funny laugh. Can yeah. you find out who that is? We'll pay him to just sit there and laugh. It could be the guy from 60 Minutes. He's got about three or four different laughs. The guy from 60 Minutes was right next to me. <laughs> what guy? I forget his name. The dude from 60 Minutes, but he was right next. The black to me. guy or the white guy? The white guy. Steve Croft. Yeah, it was Steve Croft. Yeah, the guy who had done the interview the uh, after the Super Bowl? He wouldn't know that. Kevin knew who it was. I think that name sounds familiar. You ever watch 60 Minutes? No, no, no. Really? Does it interest you? It's a great show. I know. I just never... I might learn something. I'm never home to watch TV, you know. I never watch... <laughs> You're TV. an empty slate. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's why he's unimpressed with yeah. everyone. Yeah, in a way, you know what? Don't <laughs> watch good. 60 Minutes. It's good. We, we'll tell you what to do. <laughs> Let us watch TV and we'll tell you what to think. <laughs> right, let's continue because you get one more question up, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was there ever a threesome? <laughs> Gee, it was going all so well for, yeah. uh, for Miss Flowers. Well, well if, if, if you hit a lawyer, say, he goes, you know, I'll take one more question, but not from that guy right there. Oh, really? And yeah, he you says, can hear that. that. If you, you didn't hear that? And then, yeah. and, then, and then I asked the question. Scott says something happened at the end of the press conference with Gary. <laughs> uh, who's, now, people are coming over now. Everybody's asking me where I'm from, and they're writing it down. Oh, and, you know. No, no, you, you just missed what she said. If you go back, you just... I mean, it's hard to hear. What did she say? No, no, she was clear. If you went back, you just, you just, you just we stopped her right when it was on. I think she said something like that. It hurts me very much. Yeah, 
I've done that. I was like, it hurts me very deeply. Is it? What? What are you doing? Well, it hurts. Now. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it was. It was. It was kind of mayhem at this point. Mm. I don't know. If it was that important to go back and hear her say it hurts me very deeply? Yeah, I don't know if it was important either. <laughs> Why would you make me go all the way back? Because you that? said that somebody told you it was. You said Scotty. No, no, no. There was something that happened at the end. Oh. Yeah, it's wrong. Well, anyway, John, good job. I'm sure with you. <laughs> what? I said I'm sure with you, boy. Oh, you did good. I hear he's very funny on video. I like to see it. I mean, so would I. Maybe it'll pop up on something. Oh, yeah. Where could we show that? <laughs> yeah. There's no, really no place to show that to people. It's pretty cool. She was cute, though. But, again, but I can't... But dangerous. Yeah. You get involved with her. It's just so, it's so pathetic what's going on nowadays. It is kind of weird. Everybody's just sort of out there and... Like sharks feeding on each other. It's just, it's just real sleazy. You know, two people in bed together for 12 years, and then, you know, and you're banging away and stuff. And okay, it doesn't work out. I mean, listen, she knew he was a married man. And whoever that guy was that was laughing, I doubt very much that he's from 60 Minutes, because I don't know if you heard it, but at one point, after when he was laughing really hard, right after yeah. John asked a question, you hear him yell out, How big was it? <laughs> you go back, you can hear it. Yeah, it's hard for me to hear all that uh, stuff. Uh, it's commotion. pretty clear. Yeah, I didn't hear it. Well, we're not going to roll back just for that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know that I'm going to. Yeah, I just don't think that's a 60 Minutes reporter. You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> How big was it? <laughs> tell you, the Democrats got to get like a eunuch or something, man. Yeah. You know? There you go, John. You should be their advisor. Yeah. They don't know what to look for. Touche. <laughs> Touche, John. I wonder how big it is. A eunuch or something. <laughs> Hey, are you a eunuch or something? It's like, why is that a, a, why is it, whether or not he used a condom, why is that a demoralizing question? She's up there doing the most demoralizing thing in the world. She's up there squealing on some guy she was in the sack with for 12 years. Yeah. And she's given every other detail, and she's playing uh, sodomy uh, references. You she's, read that magazine. She's telling all about, well, he, you know, did this great, and I love huh. that, and we made love all over the place. Yeah, I mean, so asking if you wore a condom, why is that? Why is that so out of line? I mean, why can't her lawyer deal with that? Who is her lawyer? He must be very proud of himself. Do I have to break? Or can I uh, take a phone call? You can take a phone call. Oh, good. Thanks, John. No problem, man. All right. You're on the air. Howard. Yeah. Uh, I just got to tell you, Stuttering John is the most amazing human being I've ever seen. He does have balls on him. I mean, you know, years ago when Gary used to do this, you could tell he was, like, cringing a little bit inside. Yeah, he didn't want to be there. Not John. I mean, John, just he's just oblivious to how amazing he is. <laughs> John is just happy to be an empty slate. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people always say to me. How does he have the nerve to ask these questions? I said, John doesn't know what he's asking. It's like John almost has Down syndrome or something, you know? He's just happy as a clam. Yeah, like Rain Man. And that, yeah. yeah. The rest of his life is, like, a little sketchy, but... When yeah. he's out there with a microphone, he's... He he's rules. Like, oh, no. yeah. He comes to life. He he holds court. <laughs> and, and, you know, wherever he goes, either they love him, the press corps, or they hate him. Yeah. There he seemed to have been accepted. <laughs> Stuttering John made uh, USA Today. A big article on the uh, press conference. The scene at the Waldorf Astoria was not the press at its best, and the circus-like atmosphere was heightened as reporters began to call out questions, including lewd ones from Stuttering John, a character on the Howard Stern radio show. I like how they call him a character. Yeah, but... isn't John a person? Yeah, he's just a guy. <laughs> Did Governor Clinton wear a condom, he asked. There were loud guffaws. Will you be sleeping with any other presidential candidates, Stuttering John asked. They identify him as Stuttering John. Yeah. Even Flowers had to laugh. <laughs> Although Flowers' story stunned the public, some of her friends said they had known about Clinton for years, and blah, 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 and it goes on and on. But USA Today, stuttering John, uh, quite, quite the celebrity. He's making... History. He's making a fool of himself. Yes. Yeah. That's it. No, I like the guy who uh, called him the world-famous stuttering John on Larry King last night. Yep. Actually, uh, Jimmy Breslin uh, wrote about Stuttering John. Were you reading the column? Mm hmm Yeah, I know. I can tell when you're drifting. Oh, you. Mm. I know what's going on. It's a good column. Jennifer, Tammy, and a poor dope. Who's the poor dope, John? Uh, no, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, Jennifer, and who's Tammy? Tammy Wynette. Oh. 
Jimmy Breslin says, the only question she was asked that captured the spirit of the occasion came from some derelict working for the Howard Stern radio show. <laughs> derelict. <laughs> Quote, did Governor Clinton use a condom? The use of the title governor raised the level of the question to sheer art. <laughs> it was sheer art. It was. When there was laughter, when we write this stuff, because Fred wrote that question for John, we make sure to put in governor. Yeah. Because he, he'll just say whatever we write. He will, isn't he like a puppet? He's, he's yeah, like a dummy. Man. He's yeah. basically one of those little things like those that have they've come out with that you press the button and it just curses. You yeah. Know, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. Just program him just, yeah, we program him. Did Governor Clinton use a condom? The use of the title governor raised the level of the question to sheer art. When there was laughter, the derelict got mad. It's a social issue. <laughs> the derelict. Good old John, cracking up the press corps. <laughs> Quite frankly, to my uh, way of thinking, they should have only had people like stuttering John at that press conference. Yes, yeah, no serious reporter should have been there. <laughs> Hi, come in. Okay, I should question for 93 K-Rock. Why not? Okay, let me, let me ask you, uh, do you comb your hair with a sponge? Of course not. Um, aren't you glad you don't look like Patrick Ewing? Well, I don't want to be... To have, to be Put in a position to say something unkind about Patrick. You know, you like him. Patrick's a nice young man. Um, who's the best white basketball player? <laughs> I don't usually rate him on by color, so you're gonna have to come with another approach. Okay. Uh, what do you think of Howard Stern? Uh, geez, I haven't watched his show all the time. He's kind of an irreverent guy. He, but he's, like funny. Him? he's funny at times. Um, All right. Why would anyone ever change their name from Lou Alcindo to Kareem Adolf Jabbar? I don't understand your question. Many through K Rock. Take care, Kareem. All right. Huh? Enjoy. Yeah. Hi. Katie, can I ask you a question for WXRK Radio? Hi, yes. Of, of a tape of broadcast? Do you think your husband would leave you if you got breast cancer? Oh, that... Yeah, um... Oh, come on, Katie. Oh, uh, you know... Oh, okay, I, Howard always talks not, good about... I know, I like Howard, but, you know, I just don't think this is appropriate, Please. and I don't really like these questions. Don't you feel badly for Deborah Norville? You know, I'd rather not do this. Thank Please, you. Please, Katie. Excuse me. Thank you. Aren't you embarrassed by the white trash Bye. who waved at you through the glass window at the Today Show? Goodbye. Nice meeting you. Is there anyone more arrogant uh, uh, than Brian Gumbel, Katie? How are you? Who's more arrogant than Hi. How are you? Katie. Good to meet you. Katie. Howard talks good about you all the time. Tell Howard I said hi. Thank you. All right. 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 Hi, right, Keith, how are you? Good. Uh, this is for the um, Howard Stern Show tape for broadcast. Howard Stein? Howard Stern. Okay. Are you familiar with him? Yeah, I know Howard. Um, let me start off by saying 86 Mets, man. I'm the biggest fan. I was there. I was there at the stadium. Uh, yeah, well, I'm the biggest I, fan of Howard Stern. Hi, Howard. Okay, let, 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 me, uh, let me ask you, like, the first question. I've been asking all the baseball players this one. Keith, did, did you have a fart in the catcher's face? Gary Curtis. No, no honestly. I mean, yeah, honestly. I Really? I asked Frank Pula and Gary Carter. I did it in Montreal one time. And um, how much you want to bet that Pete Rose is gambling again? Oh, I don't want to answer that question. Okay. That's, I mean, a, that's a tasteless question. Come on. Uh, well, all right. Well, let me just add something else, Keith. Don't ask me that stupid question. Okay, I won't. I won. Do you think that Julia Roberts, do you think that Julia Roberts dropped Keeper Sutherland because he looks like a retard? Oh, I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? Oh, no, I'm asking you, man. You're asking I'm questions. a fellow Spanish guy, man. Who wrote these questions? John, I, I, my name is... Melinda will explode first. The space shuttle or Oprah Winfrey? What do you think? Well, well come on, you don't want to turn it around. Huh? <laughs> Keith, thanks a lot, man. Keith, Keith, thanks a lot. Milk crate. Mar Cash app. Dollar sign. Milk crate. Marauder. Hello, you who? Venmo at Milk Crate Marauder. Fuck Milk Crate Marauder. I approve this message.